What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to reveal the best cookie cutter slicer settings. This is the settings that we've been using on all of our cookie cutters. And for the most part, it's been working pretty well. There's always room for improvement, but this is what we got so far. Maybe it'll save you some headache. Uh, so we're going to go over here and I'm just using the standard 0.2 millimeter setting. Okay. But let's drop down quality. Let's show you exactly what I'm using, all right? So I am using uh, Cura, which I believe is the best program, and you can hook it up to most 3D printers. We use the Ender 3, um, but the quality I keep the same. I don't change anything in here, nothing special. Uh, let's drop into Shell. I think there are... Um, so there is one thing that I changed right here, the bottom pattern initial layer we have as lines um it creates a really good adhesion to the heat bed uh so that has been working pretty well for us for the infill just cubic 20 percent, nothing special there we're, we're going to be getting to the special stuff we we have changed around a decent amount for our settings with a lot of trial and error and for the very first one and arguably one of the most important ones is printing temperature and build plate temperature what works for us with the PLA that we use is 210 for the printing temperature and 55 for the build plate. We use PLA plus. I'll make a video about that and what type of PLA you should use. But just because I have these settings doesn't mean it'll necessarily be the best for you because that depends on the PLA. But I'm revealing what our settings are to you. There's a lot of other people out there that will try to uh, make you pay for their settings. We're revealing it all for free. Everything we're going to do here is for free. So you can create your cookie cutter business or just create cookie cutters for yourself without having to pay a dime. Uh, so next is print speed. Usually it's uh, preset to 50. We had it for th at 35 for a while uh, then we changed it to 45 we really don't see much of a difference it is a little bit slower so it can uh, get a little bit more accurate than if you were to do 50 but you'll hear this from everyone speed kills prints so don't go above 50 for us 45 has been working pretty well next so if that was speed we're gonna go to travel so we've changed around a lot in travel so we have enable retraction we have retraction distance set at 8 millimeters, retraction speed set at 30, combing mode set to all, and max comb distance with no retract to 30. So far, this has been working pretty well for us. We've been getting some smooth prints, not too many, uh, not too much stringing, and uh, really no bumps either. So now we move down to cooling. Nothing, a uh, fan speed, we have 100%. There's really nothing special there. We're going to jump over to support now. What do we have here? Nothing, nothing you have to worry about. Build plate adhesion. So for the adhesion type, um, don't do brim, don't do skirt, don't do raft, just do none. All right, it, it wastes PLA. I think it's pointless. We do none and we have seen no problems whatsoever. And the very last thing, dual extrusion is nothing <laughs> we don't have anything for dual extrusion but that's it that's the settings that we have we're using a 0.4 millimeter stainless steel nozzle and our prints have been coming out pretty good now we know it's not the best there's always room for improvement uh so i really want to pass it off to you guys what success have you had with your uh with your prints what slicer settings do you have that you've had luck with? Put that in the comments below, just so we could all see, we could all share together for free, help each other build and become better creators together. So drop those below. Um, and of course, if you have any questions as well, make sure to uh, you know ask away. Either I'll respond or maybe someone else watching the video will respond as well. But again, this has been some of the best settings uh, for us that we have used. Give it a try. See how it comes out. If it works, great. If you have a different printer or you're using different PLA, it might you might have different results. But that's all I got for you guys. Hope you learned something from this. I hope that your prints come out better now. 
and make sure to uh, subscribe to our channel. We're going to be coming out with a lot of content all related to cookie cutters uh, and creating cookies. Royal icing cookies is going to be our specialty. We're going to go over a lot of stuff. We're really going to crank it up over the next couple of months. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. It helps out algorithm. Leave those comments. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching and uh, check out the rest of our channel.